This thing we get is crazy Only thing I know is you're my baby yeah, yeah. Whatever down I am, you lady Always for sure, never a maybe yeah, yeah. Welcome to my channel, it's your girl Dominique. I hope everyone is having a great day. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you will never miss another upload from me. But now I'm just starting out by blending out this concealer under my brows. The concealer that I'm blending out is my Hard Candy Concealer in the shade Tan. And after I do that, I'm going to take that same concealer and just apply it to the rest of my eye. And this is just going to cover up um, any discoloration and also makes the eyeshadows pop a little bit more. I'm just setting the concealer in place so it doesn't move or crease. After that, I'm going to move on to my eyeshadows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And the first eyeshadow that I'm taking is Burnt Orange. And this is a Morphe, like, big blending brush. And I'm just going to blend this color in and just continue to add more color until I get it to the intensity that I want. After that, I'm going to take Red Gar or Real Gar. I have really don't know how to pronounce it but it's like a um very warm orange eyeshadow and i'm just blending it in right under where i place burnt orange and i'm just going to continue to intensify that eyeshadow by adding more and more and just blending as i go along on my lid area, I'm going to take the shade Vermeer and I'm just going to continue to pack this shade on. This is just like a little eyeshadow brush from Sedona Lace. And I got many requests that you guys would like for me to slow my videos down just a little bit and talk more and explain what I'm doing a little bit more because you guys actually want to learn and you want to know everything that I'm doing instead of me showing you and speeding it up. So in my outer V area, I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber. And this is just like a little small defining brush. It's really, really good um, if you're just starting out because you don't want to take a big brush and get eyeshadow everywhere because it's like so hard to clean up. With this little brush, you have more control. So that's one of the reasons why I really love it. I really recommend it. It's from Morphe. I will have the exact number of it down below but under my brow bone i'm taking the shade golden orchid and i'm just placing it under there as a um highlight and now i'm just blending everything together moving on to my face i'm taking my tarte shake take concealer i'm just going to add a little concealer under my eyes before i apply my foundation just to cover up um the darkness under my eyes. The foundation I'm going to be using today is my Black Opal Truly Topaz. Yeah, Truly Topaz foundation. Um, it is the liquid foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. One of my favorites. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I did apply it with a brush in the beginning, just so I can get like an even layer. But to blend everything out and to buff everything out, I took my damp beauty blender. And for concealer under my eyes, I'm taking two of the LA Girl Pro concealers. And I'm just going to mix them together to give me a nice highlight. I didn't really want anything too, too dramatic. That's why I kind of used um, concealers kind of close to my skin complexion. I did want a slight highlight, but nothing too, like... Bam, bam, bam. Nothing like that. So after applying my concealer on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's glow, chin, and under my eyes, I'm just going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender. And let's go ahead and just continue to watch. You have a pretty fine girl and I have a pretty fine wish, Donna. Nada. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss another upload from me. And make sure your notifications are on so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And also follow me on my social networks. I will have everything listed down below in the description box so you can stay connected with me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and everything like that. But one thing I want to tell you guys, when I'm blending it out under my eyes, I'm not really rubbing. I'm just patting it in. I just want to pat the concealer in place I don't want to move it around I just want to pat it and cover up the area where I place the concealer 
Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and I'm taking the shade Chocolate. And this is what I'm going to use to contour. It's a creamy contour. I've really been in love with it. I usually don't like contour my face like this. I usually just use a bronzer and things like that. But I'm trying to do different things and incorporate different things in my video so I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender after applying it with my real techniques real techniques brush I'm just going to continue to dab and pat and this process takes a few minutes so you just take your time don't um, think that I'm just doing it in like 30 seconds because I'm not it probably took me two or three minutes to blend this out and now I'm just going to set the concealer under my eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to basically immediately brush it away using a real technique little brush I really love this little brush it really it's like perfect for under your eye and for the inner corners of my eye I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take the shade Tipperera <laughs> I feel like I be messing up these names like oh my goodness but I'm just going to place that in the, in the corner and under my um, lash line I'm just going to mix the shade Regar and Cypress Umber just to give me sort of a um, smokiness under my eye I guess and then for the um, waterline I'm just going to add my black pencil and the Mascara that I'm using is from Tarte. I got it in one of my Ipsy bags. I really, really love this mascara. And to carve out that um, contour, I'm just going to take some more of the setting powder and just place it under there and immediately sweep it away because if you don't, it will leave like a line that you cannot get rid of. And now I'm just going over my contour with um, my NYX contour palette and I use one of the shades out of there I will have the exact name down below in the description box and I'm also using that same palette to contour my nose for blush today I'm taking one of the blushes out of the Morphe N6 blush palette and for highlighter my favorite favorite part I'm taking the highlighter the two middle shades out of the Carly Bible palette and mixing them together you guys should know that my favorite highlighter and I'm just going to highlight that face girl get that glow on so and oh and I'm using the um a Morphe brush to do that one of my favorite brushes to highlight with and after that I'm going to take my beauty blender and just go over like where I apply my blush and my highlighter just to make sure everything is blended out and for my lips I'm just gonna line them with an eyebrow pencil I could not find my MAC court liner and for lips I'm taking chili chill this is from Colourpop I really really love this color but this basically completes the look I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that button but I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching it's the DJ play my song Yeah, I'm chilling with the girl then And we get high all night long Bulaka She love the bad thing She hold a bad man, she want the bad thing I'm all up on her waist up when we dancing She don't care about nobody when we standing Make you ginger me